Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a countdown for a certain event. It could be annual or even accurate down to the second. Well, right now it's like 224 and it's pretty accurate because we're going to be using the current year blocks and the day since 2000 blocks. Some of the most accurate with like 50 decimal points and I'm not sure how they did that. So if you want to see how to make a countdown for something like Christmas or someone's birthday or your birthday, then don't forget to like, subscribe and share and let's get on with the video. So of course, the first thing we need to do is put a when green flag click block as always. Put a forever loop and we need four variables days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So I'm going to be making a countdown for the 1st of May, which is next year, 2024, 1st of May. And right now there's like 170 something days. Right now it's the 5th of November at the date of posting. So set days left to minus. And since we only have the current year and the days of since 2000 block, we're gonna have to be very creative about how we're gonna use these blocks together. So put the day since 2000 block here. Now, this isn't very useful since it does tell us how many days it's been, but to figure out the days between now and the date you want, you have the current day since 2000 and you need the day since 2000 of your other event. So to find this, Google time between January 1 of 2000 and you're going to put the date that you want. So I'm gonna put May 1st, 2024 and it's going to give you the amount of days so this is 8877 days i think i pronounced that wrong anyway you can put that number here 8887 and here it will give you 8887 days between this 2000 year and the date that you want so this should give you the amount of days if we code my text engine to say the amount of days then eh, you might find out we have something wrong. So of course, our number is too long and it shows all the decimal points. So to fix this, do not use a round block. That could make the days go up or down abruptly. So use a floor of block, which is very useful, and put a join if you want to make it a nice counter. And I'm gonna put 177 days. Now, this may look cool, but like it is live, but it's not that exciting. All you have is a counter that stays there and changes once a day. I don't think many people will be so interested in your project. So the next thing you need to do is duplicate this and set the hours left to a different formula. Now, as you saw, there were a bunch of decimal points. As you can see, I can do this. And there was like a bunch of things after the decimal point. Now, if you cut off the 177, all of this is progress through the day. So right now, I'm 56% through my day, and it's about 2.28 p.m. So I'm going to put that back in, and we can multiply by 24 to find out how many hours we have. So put a times 24, which is what we just talked about, and then put a minus sign. And then you want to take the days left, the bigger one with all the decimal points, minus the floor of days left, which is the one without the decimal points. Now, this formula is very useful because it gives you the thing, it gives you the value without the actual value, just the decimal points, everything after. And this should tell me how many hours there are left. Let me just call code my text engine to say that. And we should be good to go. So we have 13 hours left now, and that's pretty useful since it makes sense if you calculate it right now. It's still not that exciting. I'm not gonna be waiting here for an hour for the next one to move. So we need to add the minutes. So you can repeat the same process and put hours in place of the days and change this to 60. Then I can calculate my text engine to make it display the minutes. And we're good to go. There's 30 minutes. And it's still kind of boring. Hmm, I wonder what we could need. Maybe a seconds engine too. I'm gonna place my seconds in there. And we're gonna repeat the same process. Go back to the calculator sprite, duplicate this again, and put everything of the hours and replace it with the minutes. And there you go. That's a live counter. And uh, never mind. I just forgot to change this. There we go. It works. So there are 177 days. 13 hours, 30 minutes, and 7 seconds until the 1st of May. 
Now I'm just gonna put the little counter here. Oh, smiley faces don't show. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my other project where I utilize this to make a Christmas countdown. There's only 50 days until Christmas. So yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. So click that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.